Plug love, what you mean, plug love? Plug love, what you mean, plug love? This is your season, man. This is your season. This is your time. This is the time to shine. So what do you see going? <laughs> what do you see going on this year in the NFL? And who who does who should people look out for? And who you think is just some duds? Well, you know what I'm gonna say off top. So don't get it fucked up. Just because we lost Big Andrew, number twelve, we miss you, baby. Show must go on. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before man. you get into that, because I know you are a diehard fan. <laughs> right, yeah. So now. So I, be clear on what you ask the motherfucker early in the morning. Yeah, I'm going to ask you, <laughs> what did you think about Luck ex, Lux Exit? I mean, let me give y'all some stats, man. Because I know everybody just quick to say, oh, Andrew Luck was a crybaby. He wasn't tough. All right, let me give you some stats here. So. Andrew Luck was sacked his first three years 175 times, 175 sacks. He was hit an additional 201 times. Now, we all do math very well. 376 hits in three years, okay? Are we there? Mm -hmm. That's 3.5 sacks or 3.6 sacks a game, but he was touched 7.7 times, almost 8.8 times a game. Exactly. So when you put stats like that to people, and guess what? He never had a – he had one receiver – no offense, no running game, no defense. When we had before we got him, we were two and fourteen. The minute that young man stepped on that field, we were eleven and five. All three of those years, him being the most hit quarterback, no offense, no defense, he still went eleven and five for three years straight. That's thirty three and fifteen. And we over here crying like he wasn't doing his thing. That's a dumb shit. That's people don't know football and really don't know statistics. So they tend to say, oh, well, he just retired. And he He's soft. If y'all watch his first three years, every time he got hit, he popped up like a goddamn ping pong ball, okay? Like a jack in the box. Every time he got hit, he was back up on his feet. Tough. Mm-hmm. No offensive line, no defense. So let me start that right there. Let me let me, let me me kick that little knowledge out right there so now everybody can let that sink in. Sink in. <laughs> yeah, let that sink in. He gets mm-hmm. out for a year and a half, and the moment he comes back, we're back running again. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-hmm. So what do you? How, what do? You, right, this is the part that I think people really want to know. So do you feel like he just quit at the wrong time? Because they said now they supposedly got a line and all everything you said they didn't have. Uh, oh yeah, the stars are aligned. But if your body ain't working, this that game is. And see, I, I really hate people that talk shit who never played football a day in their goddamn life. So you Them the main so, motherfuckers. Hey, look, so you hate me. No, just say <laughs> The tea party motherfuckers. They're the main motherfuckers. I talk shit. You ain't never put on a helmet, strapped on no starter pads at no level. At Pee Wee, Pop Warner, junior high school, high school. Don't tell me college, semi-pro, arena. Don't tell me shit about football. Because you ain't never played that gladiator-ass sport, then you don't know shit about it. Sometimes it will make you give up. When you're done, get beat. His body was working against him. You know what I'm saying? He just had a baby. He just got married. He won't be able to walk at the end of his career. He won't be able to move. Now you see these injuries keep piling up and piling up and piling up. He don't owe nobody shit but himself. He has a life. That is a goddamn sport. They could take your life away. You know what I mean? In one second. You could be paralyzed. You could die. You could break something. ACL. MCL, you could be gone for the season, you'd be gone for your career. So he deserves to walk with the 24. He deserves to walk. Hell yeah, he deserves to walk. Okay, so you draft me and you don't give me no weapons and I'll give you three years of 33 and 15? Oh yeah, nigga, I deserve to walk. I mean, it's their fault because they did protect him. Um, And when you get a franchise quarterback like they did Peyton Manning, you put a line around him. If you put a line around him, he lasts longer. He don't he doesn't get hurt. And he doesn't lose him the will to play. You know what I mean? Like, he lost his will to play. So, I, I said it affects the team very, very much so. But Jacoby Brissett is a good quarterback. And might be a great one. So, and he's a starter. And remember how we got him, Bill? Remember how we got him, okay? He came from New England. Bill Belichick got mad at Robert Kraft. He was trying to move on from Brady. He had Garoppolo. And he had... Um, Percent. He wanted to move on from Brady. Remember, Brady went up, talked to Robert Kraft himself. That changed everything. Bill got pissed and shipped Garoppolo to San Francisco and Percent to Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. So just think about who picked Percent. All right. Well, I'm gonna let you know this right now, nigga. I'm learning with the people that's listening. I don't know. <laughs> oh, no, I know, I know. Okay, right, right, right. This is a little, okay. I understand. But I'm saying, if you think about who 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 had Percent in their radar. 
Carolina, who drafted Brissett, it was the New England Patriots. And if I put my money on it, I think they know what they're talking about when they draft talent. They can have mid-level talent but still have a championship ball club, and those people excel within their system. So that's you know I mean? that's how they so good even when the major players go out. Exactly. Because it's a pick, it's a, it's a pull and pick, or, you know, uh, next man up. So, you know, all of them working within a, a certain system, that's why they're so good. So, And then you got Frank Wright, who's a quarterback coach and a great quarterback coach. I mean, he's going to do miracles and wonders with Brissett. Brissett got one of the best arms in the league. So, All right, so we're going to see. We're going to see. He does. He, he can make passes. Half them motherfuckers can't even make. So you he's think like, he, you think he can fill Luck's shoes? Well, at this point, he don't have to. I mean, he's not going to have all the pressure like Luck had on him because he has a defense. He got a running game. He got an offensive line. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be different for him. Where we needed Luck to win the games, now we just need Percent not to throw away the game. The defense didn't give up a 100-yard rusher in the last 18, in 18 games. So has he, oh. does he have a, a, a pass to throwing away games? No. Hell no. When he played for us, uh, he started. Remember, we had him two weeks. We got him two weeks before the 2017 season. 2017? Yeah. And they threw him in. He had to play, so he had no – they did basic playbooks. No – he had no weapons. He still threw, for, I think, 13 touchdowns, 10, 10 picks, 3,000 yards. So he's been uh, with the system now for two years. He has held up receivers. That Deion Kane boy is back, and he's going to tear some shit up this year. He got Funches, Paris Campbell, and T.Y. Hilton. He got Ebron. He got fucking uh, so Doyle, they, uh, Max, all these weapons. Well, I he, see, hey, look, I see you like can go on and on, on all day about them. <laughs> so we going to go ahead, uh, yeah, exactly. we gonna go ahead and switch it up. <laughs> hey, we got to go ahead and switch it up, man. So yeah, I keep yeah, hearing about yeah. these Cowboys. What do you think about them? Same old shit they always say. They gonna win a championship. They tough. They got an all star squad. They have Dak Prescott. I mean, that's it. If they stop Zeke, which they can, be hard to do. But if they stop him, you know, you got to allow him back. But the Cowboys, oh, honestly, they should be pretty good. But they got a battle in their division now. Melvin Gordon, I think, from the San Diego, then went to the fucking Eagles or going to the Eagles. So I don't know. They will have a problem with the Eagles. So I do not know about that division. They gonna, it's gonna between the, it's gonna be between the Cowboys and Eagles, but uh, it's gonna be tough. Cowboys are good, but so are the damn Eagles. They're good. They are loaded. Man. So <sighs> they're who, loaded. Bro. Who the Eagles got? Every, who they don't got? They got everybody. They got probably the best receiving class. Uh, I want to say they got speedsters all over the field. They like I said, they got to get Melvin Gordon from San Diego. <sighs> they got walking to him. He back. So they're gonna be able to do some things out there, man. Eagles got a star-studded cast. I couldn't name you all the players they got, but they are loaded, loaded. So who's so, the teams we should look out for then? New England. You serious? Hey, man, until them motherfuckers get out of ta- out of dodge, New England will always be the team to look out for. <laughs> period. <laughs> them. It's just in there. Yeah. Period. I don't give a fuck how they start. What the who fly is before they start training camp, what people talk about or not, it don't matter. New England Patriots are always the team to be, period. Then you got the Saints and a bunch of other motherfuckers that fall in line. So what's going on with Russell Wilson, man? I haven't heard anything about it. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he's, like, he's, still, he's a championship quarterback, but he's still doing his thing. I don't know. The Seahawks, they're not going to be about nothing, though. Mm-hmm. They still rebuild. Mm-hmm. They got to rebuild. I think, uh, yeah, they got a rebuild, man. Who's but the, as far as it's going to be New England, New Orleans, these are all the teams I'd be looking at. New England, New Orleans. Fucking, uh, the Chargers might be good, but they just lost their running back, so we'll see. I don't I don't know about that. We'll see. What about Atlanta? Oh, my God. My, Atlanta always come out. Of, my buddy's an Atlanta fan. He's he going to trade A this for you. They fucking garbage, okay? <laughs> They're garbage. <laughs> They always start out hot, and then they fall off. This is the only goddamn team who has a 24-point lead in the goddamn Super Bowl and lose it. Damn. And lose the fucking game. They got the worst. Damn. I'm sorry. Hey, you going to hold that me. against them forever. <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? That's a losing franchise, okay? They got a losing history, all right? They start back in 1966, Damn. all right? Break it down. Break it down. They start back in 1966. I think they got... 48 losing seasons and 14 winning seasons. They're trash. Damn. 
please. Let's move let's on. Let's talk about the hey, bum-ass Falcons. They ain't been good since the Dirty Birds. Hey, let's, let's move on. Then. Let's move on from that shit. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah. Get them out that of here. That sound like bad. Are, hey, that sound like bad hey, stock. <laughs> hey, they the Christmas package is all big. When you open it up, you got a rock in there. So, it looks good with the bow. It starts off 6-0. and But at the end of the day, what happens? It filters out. It loses games. becomes nothing. So, yeah, they trash it all outdoors. Clean. Who else you want to talk about? Them uh, what about Cam Newton? What do you think he going to do? Nothing. It's over. He can't, get, he, he can't get out of his own self, man. He can't get out of himself, away from his own. He's a he's a pissable motherfucker. He, to me, you know, he ain't been all cracked up as he's supposed to be either. He can't stay unhealthy. His problem is he needs to worry about staying on the goddamn field. You know what I mean? You can't help your team if you constantly hurt. All right. What about so, he gonna, Tom Brady? Tom, terrific. Well, he, he has a lot of help. And the one of the best coaches to ever coach the game to hide any of his little flaws at 42. But he's going to be a lot slower. And we'll see how these hits pile up if he gets hit, which he don't get hit because he released that motherfucker in one, two, two seconds. That bitch is out of his hand. He don't give a fuck who's there, who's around. If you ain't looking, he'll hit you upside the back of your helmet. So you don't think Mahomes Mahomes going to get him this year? I think Mahomes going to do good, but he may have a sophomore jinx, you know, step take a few steps back. Depending on what type of weapons he's got. I think he lost Tyreek Hill, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I got to look that up. I think Tyreek Hill's not playing, but Patrick Holmes is going to be good. He's just a good quarterback. Ain't there another we'll Ain't there another rookie good quarterback supposed to be in there this year? Oh, uh, Baker Mayfield, yeah. He ain't rookies in his second year, but he's having a good year, too. For the Browns, now the Browns should be a surprise team. They should, they should win their division and make the fucking playoffs. They have a talented roster from top to bottom. So they should be good, but once again, it is Cleveland, and y'all know how y'all are out in Cleveland. Y'all got a losing goddamn history. So damn, <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't gonna get too excited for you, motherfuckers. We know this. Hey man, y'all, you you hurt motherfuckers' feelings. Motherfuckers <laughs> choke on their coffee. Oh god, <laughs> spit out their donuts. <laughs> hey, who the fuck was that calling in, bro? He's yeah. Bad. What that motherfucker said The Cowboys Fuck the Cowboys I'm like damn Everybody else Is praising the Cowboys Yeah but what did, what did we do To the Cowboys last year When they came When they played us They had a goose egg did they, they couldn't score They didn't have Dak and Zeke Yeah they did They had Zeke They had Dak and Zeke And the Colts Gave that nigga 30 yards Rushing period And that was it Skip Bayless because he sure believe they going. He always believe. He's been believing for 25 years. And guess what? <laughs> they ain't went nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> Keep believing that bullshit. Keep getting hyped. They, they're the worst fans, man, because they always think they can just beat everybody. Y'all suck. Let me know when y'all win a playoff game. Let me know when y'all make it to the NFC Championship game. Let me know when y'all can win y'all goddamn division. And then tell about winning. I love Cowboys fans though. Y'all yeah. the greatest. <laughs> what the fuck? This nigga bipolar. We just go. We just go in the here, man. For you make any more enemies this morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna try to. Hey, you know, so let, let, let me apologize, bro, real quick. Let me apologize. I like to apologize to all NFL fans for my take on this NFL season. I do have a biased opinion, but yet after it, don't hold it against me. Go, Coach Blue. There you go. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, brother, but. <laughs>